Hi, I'm Greg. Welcome to this tutorial video. I will show you the Grid Editor 1.3. We will go through a simple configuration. I will use the E44 module. Let's plug it in. I will use it in upside down. So let's go to the preferences. And here you can rotate the module by 180 degree. Also, you can make the module bigger on the screen by using this slider. Let's start making the configuration. I will use this one encoder and sending out two different CC messages. One with just rotation and the second one with push and rotate. Let's go to the configuration page. Here you can choose up to four pages where you can create and store different profiles. Let's choose an element. We can choose the element by clicking on the grid editor or either if we turn on the tracking, then we can choose the element by interacting in the module. Let's add the push and rotate action block to the encoder. I drag and drop the MIDI action block to the push and rotate. Now in the MIDI monitor, we can track the MIDI message. If I'm just rotate, then no message sent out. But if I'm push and rotate, then the MIDI messages appear. Let's copy this MIDI action block and paste it and drag and drop to the just rotate. I change the CC to 51. Now, if we rotate, then we are sending out the CC51 message. If we push and rotate, we're still sending out the other message. If you would like to change the encoder from absolute to relative, then we go to the init and choose the encoder mode action block. If you would like to print a specific value for troubleshooting, you can add an action block. and print out to the debug view. Let's copy and paste the whole encoder element. You can do by clicking the copy element, choose another encoder and paste the whole element. Now let's store. If you would like to see what's behind the action block or making further adjustment by programming, you can merge the action blocks to code. Here we can see it's a simple if else condition. If you would like to go back to the previously stored state, you can discard the whole element. Also, you can clear the element to the factory preset. If you would like to save the whole configuration, you can go to the profile cloud, you can save the encoder element or the whole module configuration. I made a video about profile cloud. If you would like to learn more, please check it out. From now on, Creed Editor won't update automatically. If we release a new version, you will get a notification about it. If you have a module with the older firmware version, Grid Editor will be warn you. Please follow the instruction to update to the latest firmware. From now on, Grid Editor also available through Chrome browser. Also, if you would like to experiment with modules, you can add virtual module. That was the quick walkthrough. If you still have question, please join our Discord channel. Bye.